Guys, we are literally on the struggle bus. Uh, me and Anthony have been like struggling on discipline. With I picked up some protein because I am still trying to meet my 100 grams of protein. It's your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close the. Close your eyes. Come over here. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Veronica, and this is. What's your name? Say Emma. What's your car? Okay, she's excited because she's gonna go outside with Anthony to wash the car. <laughs> Obviously, um, today she had a jogathon at her school, so she got to jog. How did you run? Run, run, run. Yeah, she did so good. She ran almost five laps so what was it like a mile and a half babe a mile, and a a mile and a quarter actually so she did good and non-stop so she was doing really really good today and anthony's gonna wash the car and little emma's gonna go help and i'm gonna make some breakfast for everybody while emma goes and helps daddy yes you're gonna go wash the car with daddy yes or no yes cool hey guys Welcome so back to the channel. Just you wash your car. <laughs> Today we're going to wash your car. <laughs> she does not like it when you sprinkle her. So while these guys are doing this, I'm about to keep making breakfast. I'm making... These are still frozen. Making that, I'm making bacon, and I'm also um, making eggs. So eggs, bacon, and these patty things. I just made myself a coffee also, and then Adrian's here as well, so I'm making food for everyone. And I gotta clean up and finish some orders, but Emma has a surprise, and I'm super excited to share with you guys what she ended up getting and what she's gonna be playing with today, but I'll show you guys the box now. Look at how Emma has Anthony doing, washing the car. <laughs> she wants to get on top. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. All right guys, so this is what she has, and she doesn't even know it's here. I'm so excited. I'll share with you guys the company's name that we ended up getting this from. Anthony, after he's done washing the car, is going to be building this thing right here in the garage. And then we're going to surprise her with it. Alright guys, so Anthony is going to start building this. Emma's inside. He's gonna put this all together and then we're gonna catch her reaction with this once we get outside. Okay, so after washing the car earlier, we ended up going to... Emma, where are you? Right here! Right here! You are. We went to the costume store and Emma picked out a Monster High Cleo Denial costume. She looks really pretty in it. And we have another it's for Emma once Daddy's done. Right, baby? Ooh, you are so cool. Mm -hmm. Say, how are you guys? How are you guys doing? Clear to know. Yeah? Okay. Can you say, how are you? How are you? Leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below. Come the down below, okay. <laughs> and tell him I did a jogathon. How did you do the jogathon? <laughs> jogathon, jogathon, jogathon. So she fell asleep. She's getting sick. She's very congested and it's just not feeling well. So I'm letting her sleep. And though even though it's super late, it's five o'clock. Actually, it's later than that. So I don't know if. She we're going to be showing her the car tonight or tomorrow, depending on what time she wakes up and if the sun is still out or not. But, um, yeah, we need to let her rest so she can get better. Hopefully she'll get better by Monday. Somebody's super excited to crumble. Are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> You want to 
get up. Are you so sick, little girl? Whenever we get her crumble, that's all she eats. It's like literally licks the thing. That's it. What is your eyes? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close the close your eyes. Come over here. No, you can't see it yet. No, no, no. Close your eyes. Surprise. Sit inside. You are so so big compared to that car now. Look, Emma, you can change Sit the down. radio. Look. You want music? Music? Yeah, look. Whoa, it has music. Which one do you want? Which song do you want? This thing's so cool because it comes with the control remote. Ready, Emma? Emma, you got a steer. Here. All right, guys. So Emma really, really loves this car. We take it out all the time now when we go on our walks. She really loves the fact that Anthony can control the actual car. And I actually really love that also because she does not know how to steer yet. Even with her bike, she knows how to pedal, but she doesn't know how to turn or steer on her own. So if you guys are on... If your kids are on the spectrum or they're just a lot smaller and they don't know how to steer or um, do that on their own, I definitely recommend something like this for you guys. I will link them down below, the company and the actual car itself. I will link it down below. It's from three, I think from two-year-olds to six-year-old is the age gap. But as you guys can tell, we were trying to teach Emma in the parking lot by um our house on how to try to steer it and it was just not working out but we're definitely going to keep trying and if it doesn't work out we can always just use that remote it's okay though the beat though, you know, and the rhythm of the song is like Yeah. That. Literally two weeks later, guys. <laughs> I haven't filmed since I filmed Emma in that little car. Which, by the way, she's been requesting to go there. I'm at Costco right now. She's been requesting to go on a walk with the car all the time. She loves that thing. And she loves being in there and playing with the car and having Anthony do the remote control for her. She has not figured out how to steer yet, which we're practicing with her in, like in the little parking lot, as you guys saw in the video. But, yeah, guys, it's been one stressful two weeks. Um... Anthony wasn't working for like the past three weeks. So we've been like, I've been trying to hustle with my business as much as I can because it was like three to four weeks that he wasn't working, which we should have applied for unemployment, honestly, because it was a long time without work and without money coming in and the bills are still piling up. So, but anyways, yeah, it's been a hectic, hectic two weeks, but I'm going to go to Costco, buy some stuff, and then I'll come over here and talk to you guys as well. And I was going to try to vlog while I was at Costco, but honestly, guys, I get so, like, embarrassed of vlogging or taking out the camera while I'm out in public sometimes. I get all awkward and weird. I made it back from Costco, and I'm going to show you guys what $164 worth of stuff looks like. <laughs> this economy is freaking ridiculous. It's ridiculous, guys. <laughs> I cannot believe that this is what $164 got me like. I picked up some protein because I am still trying to meet my 100 grams of protein a day. So I picked up some protein so I could have this with my coffee in the mornings. And I got the Chinese chicken salad we always pick up from there. And then these were actually pretty good. 15 grams of protein. And there's an 18 pack and I think it was like $15. 
and then Anthony likes these bars. I got these for Emma's school because they always ask to bring stuff for the kids. And that's like their number one thing that they ask for. And then um, I ended up picking up a pineapple. I got these little fast and ready jasmine rice for my meal prep. Chocolate almonds for Anthony and the kids. And I got... Um, Turkey bacon, lettuce, and I ended up picking these up for my mom's dog uh, just because she always watches Emma for me on the weekends. So, um, yeah, I just picked that up for her. But that is it, guys. That is $164 or $65 at Costco. Wow. This has literally been my life for the past two weeks. I've got a bunch of orders from different people about prints like I sell the prints to make the t-shirts also not just t-shirts and I just been so busy doing this it's like never ending but I'm definitely grateful don't get me wrong I'm definitely grateful but girl I'll sing guys I miss you guys I miss talking to you guys you guys we are literally on the struggle bus uh, me and Anthony have been like struggling on discipline with Emma because she's been throwing a lot of tantrums she's been having meltdowns and tantrums I don't really like talking about her issues on here too much that's why I keep most of the stuff to myself and I'm not going to disclose everything that's been going on but it's been a struggle and if you guys have kids on the spectrum you guys understand and you guys pretty much know what I'm talking about um but we've been struggling with the whole like discipline situation, taking things away, um, you know, time out and all of that. It has definitely been a struggle. And honestly, we've been thinking that Emma also has ADHD. Um, you guys know that Anthony has ADHD. And honestly, the older that Emma is getting, the more I can see that she might be also having that issue because she is like nonstop. She is a little firecracker and this kid does not stop at all. At all. And I notice um, she does listen and interact more, verbalize stuff more when she's not fixated on a hundred different things or noises and all that stuff. I, I feel like she has like a lot of distractions, but she's nonstop. She can't sit down, not even when she's eating. Like we're having a hard time with the school has already told us, like if we can sit her down more while she eats because she's not sitting down like the other kids when she's eating. She's like literally just everywhere, everywhere when she's eating. And she does the same thing here. No matter how many times we try to like sit her down Maybe we need to get a little table for her instead, kind of like the small ones, kind of how they have in school. So she can focus on sitting down, but this kid does not sit down for one moment. She doesn't at all. Not, we can't even sit her down to like watch TV because she will not sit down to watch TV. She will not sit down to watch her tablet or phone or anything like that unless she's like super tired at the end of the day. But she just wants the TV in the background to listen to the music and that's it. She's out everywhere doing stuff, like everywhere. So I don't know. I don't know if to take her in to see if we can get her diagnosed for that, if she has it, or if it's just me and she's just a wild, wild child. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we've been struggling with all of that. And um, I'm not going to get into details about like, the other things that we've been struggling with but it's definitely been a struggle um she's doing great in some areas and then in some other areas we've been like to the point that I literally am in tears because it's a lot to deal with and if you guys you guys are parents on the spectrum I'm, I'm sure you guys have had your difficult moments and difficult times like I feel like it's always like a phase not a phase but it's always like something happens and then that thing's no longer happening and then she, something else is coming up and then that thing's not she just picks up a, a lot of traits from other kids and other people around her like if she sees certain things often she just picks right up right up on them and for a while 
and then it's like two three months and then she picks up another thing and then it's like two three months and then something else so it's just been a lot like I feel like I can't fully verbalize everything that I want to say in words like honestly um but yeah definitely leave me a comment down below let me know how you guys have been doing I've been getting questions on ABA and no she's still not an ABA and I just don't understand the first time you guys saw I don't know if you guys been following since we started ABA in the beginning like literally when she was a baby uh they were like on it like this like we got ABA therapy within the first couple of months like speech therapy within the first couple of months this time I mean I'm on waiting lists and waiting lists and I think I just think that it's maybe her age they're getting to the younger kids or there's just so many kids now that they just can't handle that many and then there's also not that many ABA therapists so it's just been a struggle guys but anyways I hope that you guys have been doing good and definitely pray for Florida guys because they're getting hit um really badly lately with like the hurricane um all that stuff that's been going on over there. So definitely say a prayer for them. And thank you guys for watching and have a blessed rest of your day. Bye.